What's up, everybody, and welcome back yet again to another drum playthrough review. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in and stopping by. I am so glad to have everyone here. And for all of you who are brand new, hi, my name is Nick. I'm a drummer and a multi-instrumentalist, and the reason why we do these videos is so that way we can take the technique from the best drummers out there, use it for ourselves, and make ourselves, ultimately, better musicians. And we've got a legend of a drummer today. This dude has helped to pioneer so much stuff in death metal, has helped to inspire so many different drummers in death metal, and has put out some of the most iconic death metal tracks you have ever Ever heard of especially on drums I'm sure you all have probably heard of this man if you're within the drumming sphere or anything like that uh, I'm sure his name rings a bell Derek Karate this man has played with all sorts of bands including hate eternal that's just the big one that I can think of off the top of my head right now famously he auditioned for dream theater and got pretty darn far he almost made it into the band. Dude is an absolute beast of a drummer. And he takes drumming to an absolutely ridiculous level. And I, I think that it's it's absolutely insane. And while, yes, he may be one of the most amazing drummers out there, we haven't done a video on him yet for some stupid reason. So what we're going to do today is check this man out. I got a video pulled up from Minel Symbols. This is a playthrough that he did for a song called Path of Consequence. I've never heard this song. I've never, you know, really listened to Hate Eternal that much. But I know Derek Roddy's a phenomenal drummer and I am assured that he's going to be able to knock this thing out the park and so much more. He's going to exceed expectations. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and check this dude out and see just what kind of technique this man has under his belt that we can learn from. All right. Without further ado, ladies and gents, we're going to get into this playthrough. And it starts right out the bat. Look at him, he's so happy playing. He's vibing. The drummer face is real with this guy. He's fast as crap too. And he's been doing this for a long time. I can't exactly see what he's doing with foot technique. It looks like he's using ankle motion from what I can see. He's doing wrist technique on his right hand, but he's doing fingers on his left. Uh, yeah, no, he's doing he's doing wrist technique on his left, but he's doing fingers on his right. This dude is an absolute monster of a drummer. Just listen to this man's style. His power is on point. Yeah, there's really not much that I can say. It's like, it, he speaks for himself, man, without even having to say a word. His power is on point, his energy is on point. Just look at him. He's, he's happy. And that, his technique is so dang quick. It looks a little bit strange what he's doing though with his, um... That's kind of a weird grip. He's like gripping it like this. It's kind of strange. Yeah, he's a phenomenal drummer, dude. He really is. There's, there's nobody really that can play like this guy today and really match his style. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's guys that can cover the stuff that he does, but there isn't really anybody that can sound like Derek Roddy because Derek Roddy sounds like Derek Roddy and no one else really can. What a phenomenal playthrough.
So let's go ahead and just uh, talk about a few things, why don't we? So for one, I didn't really see too much of what was going on with his left hand there until right near the end. And let me say, that is some wacky looking technique. So for one, what we can tell he's doing with his one hand, obviously he's using a lot more of the finger technique and whatnot. And that's all solid. He's doing that mostly with his right hand for some of the stuff like the blast beats where he's sitting there on the uh, snare and he's doing the blast beats and all that. But then in the other hand, it looks like he's kind of gripping it like this. It's, it's kind of weird. I haven't really seen anybody play like that before, and that's, that's a little strange. Now, don't get me wrong. There are some drummers out there where they'll be playing, and they'll do the pinky out kind of thing, right? You know, like a little pinky out when they're doing it. That's fine. It's not necessarily anything bad about it, but that's just a little bit of a strange technique. I haven't really seen anybody, like, kind of curling their fingers like that, and they're playing with mostly wrist. It's like, it looks a little bit strange. It almost looks like the hand's just a little bit, like, palsied or something like that, but then on other shots, he's got, like, kind of a closed wrist, and he's doing, like, the you know, wrist motion or anything like that. Definitely kind of strange. But if we take a look at how he's playing, he doesn't necessarily look tense or anything like that. He doesn't look like he's straining. He looks like he's having a blast playing. Foot technique, it looked like that he was doing a lot of uh, ankle motion and stuff like that. I couldn't exactly 100% tell just because they didn't have any foot cams or anything like that. But you could tell that he was using some sort of a direct drive pedal just because of the response that was going off of the one pedal when he would take his foot off. It was very good and quick with the response. That also means that he has high spring tension. The likelihood of him also having some lighter beaters on there and triggering out his bass drums is also pretty high just based on the sheer speed alone and just the consistency of the sound. I might be wrong. He might not be triggering out his bass drums. He might be just be going solely off the power of the you know whatever his feet can produce. You don't need triggers, but if you want to play triggers, that's fine as well. There's not really a harm in doing either one. It, it really doesn't matter. Just as long as you're not using your triggers to cheat, that's what counts the most. But if you look at his foot technique from just from what I could tell from that top view down, it did look very relaxed. His whole leg wasn't moving with it. His leg was staying stable while his ankle was just going back and forth. And that is prime ankle technique. You want to essentially be able to stay 100% balanced on your drum throne without having to, you know, rely too much on your feet to give you that balance while you're doing your ankle motion. A good way to test this, and this is where I'll just angle the camera down just a little bit. Take your chair here. Sit down in your chair. Now, if you sit on the edge of the chair, right, you'll notice my feet are out in front of me like this. If I sit on the edge of the chair, if I lift my feet up, I'm gonna fall forward. Because right now, since I'm on the edge of my chair, my feet and my legs are supporting me and keeping me up. This is gonna work a little bit better if you're doing full leg motion stuff like this. If I scoot back, and I'm a little bit more reliant on the chair like this, if I take my feet up, Notice I don't fall over. This is gonna be a little bit more of your setup if you're using ankle motion, stuff like that. You're not necessarily gonna to wanna to use it for full leg motion or anything like that. You are gonna to wanna to use it more for ankle motion because you see how my knees aren't necessarily moving that much? That's because that's all coming from my ankles. That's where all the power is coming from. So when it comes to techniques like that, just make sure you're keeping that in mind because believe it or not, just adjusting one tiny thing like your drum throne placement will have an effect on all sorts of stuff as far as your technique is concerned. Even the height of your drum throne can affect your endurance and everything like that. Because you gotta remember, the height of your drum throne tells you how you're gonna be playing each piece of your kit. Are you gonna be playing down over top of your kit? Or are you gonna be playing more up you know, and having to use different muscle groups and stuff like that. So just keep all that in mind when you're doing setups or anything like that, if you're trying to focus on technique building. Think about one of the most important things that is behind your kit that you can't really play unless you have it, your drum throne. Not even just like the weight of your sticks or, you know, what type of sticks you're using, the length of your sticks, your pedal board settings, the weights of your beaters, you know, how long your pedal boards are, are they direct drive, chain driven, all that stuff. We can take all that into effect and still come up short, and it could be something as simple as adjusting the height of our drum drum throne and making sure that is in sync with the rest of whatever we're trying to do. So that's just a couple things to keep in mind. But yeah, what an absolutely phenomenal job by Derek Roddy. He's indeed a legendary drummer. And you could tell just by the way that his face looked, he was just vibing out. He was just having so much fun behind that kit, man. And that is inspiring to see. Definitely a lot of drummers have taken inspiration from this guy, and rightfully so. He's a powerhouse of a drummer, and I've got nothing but good things to say about him. Because he's just an overall friendly looking dude. He's a friendly guy. He's always very helpful with his technique and stuff like that. And Dude Man has literally put down metal tracks that have been marked down in the legendary history of death metal drumming. He's a beast, and deserves your subscription. So I'm going to go ahead and link his channel down below, and up in the corner right here, so that way you guys can check that out after the video. And with all that being said, Joe, that's the end of this one, so thanks for tuning in to stopping by. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Share your thoughts down below on what you thought of Mr. Derek Roddy's playthrough. Don't forget also to check out my other videos on my channel and the playlist I have as well. And with all that being said, y'all, that's the end of this one. So thanks for tuning in and stopping by, and I will see you guys in the next video. So cheers, and have a great rest of your night.